Okay guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a powerful vibe coding tool. This is an AI tool that can literally turn your ideas into full websites, apps, and even games just from one simple prompt. This tool also gives you access to some of the latest and greatest AI models available right now, like Gemini 3 Pro, GPT-5 Codex, and a lot more, even the latest GPT-5.2. And the best part? You can use it for completely free. Make sure you watch till the end, because I'll show you that it's possible for you to create even your very own AI apps with this. Be sure to also like and subscribe for more AI content like this. If you want to learn how to make money with AI and AI influencers, subscribe to my other channel. Okay guys, so this is the name of the tool that we're going to be using, and it's called YouWare. Now what this is, is your one-stop vibe coding platform that helps you code with the best of the best AI models. As you can see here, you can build a whole lot, from a product landing page to a whole lot more, just starting with a simple idea or a prompt. Okay then, so if we slide down, you see that it's trusted by over 1 million creators and featured integration from all of these credible sources, from OpenAI to Cloudflare to Anthropic, and even Google Cloud is here. So yes, it's very reliable. So then you can build any project with it, from a website to a prototype to even an app or a game. So if we slide down a bit more, there is something I want to show you. And yes, it also has a mobile app on both the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. It's basically available on all platforms. If you just slide down, one thing I would like you to note is that it has the best of the best models. And yes, it has GPT-5. It also has this GPT-5.2. It literally has the best. The latest and greatest models, which is really cool. So then all we need to do is just get started. And as always, we use our Google account. Okay guys, so once you log in, you should be presented with this interface. And as you can see, it's actually really familiar. So that's good. So it means that it'll be easy to navigate. And yes, in case you're wondering, it's multimodal. You can upload files as context. And over here are the MCP tools, which are a lot. As you can see, there are popular ones like Figma, YouTube, Notion, and a lot more. Okay then. As you can see, these are various presets that you can use. You can use this to create a landing page, dashboard, or Figma to website, and a whole lot more. Then over here are the models. If you should click on it, as you can see, they have the best of the best models, from Gemini 3 Pro to GPT-5, GPT Codex 2, and GPT 5.2, which is the latest and greatest. Now, as you can see, if we hover over any model, you see over here that it basically gives us a breakdown of the speed, intelligence, cost, and a lot more important things that we'll need. For example, for this Gemini 3, we have the speed to be really fast, intelligence to be high, a four out of five, and the cost is standard. We also have the provider, context, and supports here, and we can view that on all of them, like this GPT 5.2. So as you can see, it's not that fast, but the intelligence high. So it's really intelligent, and the cost is standard. Now, as you can see, for this Claude, the cost is max, which means it has the highest cost here, and these other ones have low cost. Okay then, so I think we should leave it at auto, and we should put in a prompt like this. As you can see, it would automatically fill in the space for us, and all you need to do is press tab, and it would keep thinking and filling out your prompts for you. This is really convenient, and it's one of the smartest prompt predictions I've used. I think this prompt is okay, but let's modify it a bit, something like this. Okay then, so we have this prompt here, and we can simply just send it in and it'll start working on it. As you can see, it is warming up our workspace. And then here is where we can edit whatever we want. Okay then, as you can see, our template is done. So all of these are checked, the file analysis, and a lot more. So let's wait for it to organize nicely. Okay guys, so it's all done. Let's take a look at the website. As you can see, it's actually on context. Just take a look at it. It's prompt accurate and everything is just smooth. Even look at this button to go back up and it also works too. And it also added some reviews, which I like. And even pricing, which is nice. I wonder if this works. Oh wow, this actually works. You can toggle it on and off and you can also just send a message from here with this direct communication, which is nice. I mean, it is all just nice. So if we click here, this is how to start the free trial. It did an amazing job overall. Okay then, so as you can see over here, you can clear the chats, this is the versions. You can close this, you can also refresh this preview, now you can open console. But, what we want to do is visually edit this preview. As you can see, we can select something like this and say, we can literally visually edit anything we want about this. We can also do this, it is all really, really good. Even everything here, 
you can edit it. And over here, you can either reduce or increase the corner radius. As you can see now, it is no more curved, it's now straight, which is really, really nice. You could also just delete this altogether. And this also uses the corner radius. You can change the color. You can also change the color of this one inside here and say something like this. Change it to something like this. You can edit anything you want about this, which I think is really, really nice. So yeah, obviously. You can go over here to save the changes. And as you can see, we did five changes here. It records the amount of changes that you've done and you can also discard it. Okay guys, so it is done editing it. As you can see, the spelling changed. And over here, the edges here are straight and not curved. Then here, we changed the color of this. So yes, it basically saved everything, even this percentage. I just love how easily customizable this is. They give you so much power to change what you want. So here's the preview section. This is the code for what we want to see. As you can see, you can see the index, HTML, and everything. We could also edit it if we want. Over here is the UBase, where we can turn our projects into fully functional applications, which is nice. Then over here, we could publish it to the community. And if you don't know about the community, if we go back and you go over here to explore, you see that the community has done a lot. I mean, they've done a lot, right from creating apps, AI apps, to games, and a whole lot more. And yes, when it comes to the AI apps, you can actually use this to literally create your own personal AI apps that can use models too. And yes, they actually work. For example, we have this Nano Banana Pro app. So you click on it. Okay then, so they have this app over here and it is the Nano Banana app and we can upload an image to edit. So we have this image here and we can tell it to edit anything. For example, let's say something like this. As you can see, this is a mildly complex edit. And yes, this is powered by Gemini 3. So yeah, all we can do is just simply click generate and it'll generate then in literally no time at all, it's done generating. So this is the image that we generated. And as you can see, it exactly did what we told it to do. The result is very good. We can go over here to download it. So yes, you can actually use it to create fully functional apps that you can actually publish. So if we go back, you can see that there's a whole lot of different apps here. And I mean, a whole lot. And another thing I love about this tool is the games. And as you can see, there's a whole lot of games here. And as you all know, all the games here work and we can pick any single one. So let's simply pick a game. Let's say something like this. So as you can see, the game is loaded and we can simply click on start game. As you can see, we can move this. And yes, the game does work. You can use this to create not just apps, but an entire working game. That's cool. So yes, one thing I also love about this tool is, as you can see over here, you can remix or edit it other than sharing it. Now just write in your requirements, a simple prompt, just something like, So we have something like this. I can simply send it in and it'll take us to this new tab where it's a warm up preview while also working on it. Okay then, as you can see, it has edited what's included. And if you click on start game, you can see that it is just perfect and it knew exactly what we meant. I mean, just look at it. You can edit any other thing about this and it would be perfect. Just look at how it's playing. And it's also really smooth. As always, we can preview it. This is the code and we can go over here to publish it also, which is nice. So this tool is basically a tool that can help you do a variety of things. It can help you create your own AI tools and games. If you go to the explore tab over here, you can literally see everything coding tools and you can even use this to do more than apps and games. It can be used for educational purposes, presentations, landing pages. Yes, you can use this to make an entire landing page. And as we all saw, you can also customize it. You can use it to make a portfolio, which is also really, really cool. So yes, be sure to check this tool out with the link in the description because this can help you turn your ideas into real products. Be sure to also like and subscribe for more AI tools like this.